Boo! Did I scare you? Good. At some point in the second half of this year, we are all going to go to the polls and make a choice. I'm not going to tell you exactly when, because I'm a big tease. And I also know it's the last important decision I'll ever make. It won't just be a choice between Labour or Conservative or even Sunak or Starmer. It will be a choice between the future and the past. Good or evil. Life or death. Are you scared yet? I remain confident that my party can prevail. Not because of our record alone, or indeed at all, but because we are the only party who will be talking about the future. I'm talking rocket ships and computers and robots and flying cars. Bah! Just keeping you on your toes. The world's a crazy place at the moment, isn't it? We've got war, immigration, nuclear weapons. I mean, what if Keir Starmer, who loved Jeremy Corbyn, forgot the nuclear codes? That will never happen to me. They are safely stored in my WhatsApps the ones I didn't delete. Extremists are exploiting our liberal democratic freedom of speech and freedom to protest by saying that they disagree with us and protesting against us. I'm talking about the worst people in the world. Terrorists, gender activists, cancel culturers, and worst of all, Scottish nationalists. These people are trying to make it morally unacceptable to believe anything different, whereas we believe in accepting the morally unacceptable. This country has been pounded by a series of once-in-a-generation disasters. <laughs> Boris Johnson, Liz Truss, um, <coughs> Covid, Ukraine... Oh god, behind you! Got you. The future's terrifying. AI could destroy 40% of all jobs. I mean, not this job, obviously. No one wants to vote for AI. I mean, no one wants to vote for me either. But plot twist, the future's not just terrible, it's also amazing. AI's great. Uh, imagine in the future a school where every pupil had their own AI tutor personalised to them, uh, and all the teachers were sort of sitting around waiting for their jobs to go away. Yeah, but that's fine because they don't vote for us anyway. Now, I'm not saying the past doesn't matter, although I sort of did just say that a minute ago. Are you still understanding this? Because I basically wrote four different speeches and sort of squashed them together. You can't tell, can you? Because sometimes the worst moments lead to the greatest creations. I mean, without World War II, we'd never have had Dad's Army. Without the Falklands, there'd be no Adrian Mole. And without Covid, we'd never have heard of Joe Wicks. Because although the future is very dangerous, it can also be very exciting. I mean, look, in Britain, we launched the Industrial Revolution, didn't we? I mean, yes, that did eventually, in the end, sort of lead to climate change, so who knows how much innovative damage we can do in the future. Think of all the things we could still invent. I mean, look at a Zempic. That's done very well for Denmark. Why didn't we invent that here? We've got loads of fat people. Despite having 14 years to think about the future, Labour don't have any plans. At least none I've heard about. But then I do only watch GB News. They think they can make you feel bad about the country and just depress you into voting for them. Which is unfair, because we've done most of the legwork on that. We've made progress in so many areas. I mean, austerity was actually good. Brexit was actually good. Partygate was actually good. Now, don't whatever you do think about that thing I said at conference last year about there being 30 years of failure. <laughs> I've changed my mind on that. Not like Keir Starmer changes his mind. I've changed my mind in a good way. I believe that, at heart, we are a nation of optimists, because I've never spoken to any British people in a pub. We have pledged to increase defence spending. Jeremy Corbyn wanted to give this country to Russia. There are so many things that I would love to do if only you'd give me the chance. I'd like to cure cancer. I'd like to create a robot NHS. I'd like to teach the world to sing in perfect harmony. Why would you vote against that? But look, it's not just about me. We want you to help. If you can see a problem, we want you to fix it. And looking at the polls, I have quite a big problem. Can you fix it? Please?